What is good YouTube and welcome back to a brand new video and today we're gonna be doing a Larry Nance Portland Trailblazers rebuild today as we know we are in the very quiet part of the offseason so since this three team trade went down I guess we should just do it from all three angles I literally just did a Portland Trailblazers rebuild but I did it a little differently where I traded a lot of everybody so today we're gonna try to keep the, the core together and see what we can make of it and uh, hopefully get something to happen here at 2k now, if you guys enjoyed this video, of course, make sure to smash the like button. Of course, subscribe if you have not already. We're on the road to two or 20,000 subs, and honestly, we're getting closer and closer by the day. So if you want to help me out with that, it would be greatly, greatly appreciated. If you aren't subbed, hit it. But other than that, let's go ahead and jump into this Larry Nance slash new look Portland Trailblazers rebuild today. Now, yesterday, I made a community tab post where I said that the Blazer would surprise everybody. And honestly, got a lot of uh, different feedback. Some of you guys were saying we wouldn't even make the playoffs. Some of you guys didn't get eliminated in the first round, which fine, that's fair. You can say that all you want. We've been eliminated in the first round quite a bit. You know, that's cool. We have made it to the West Conference Finals once, though, and got to the second round a few times, too, so don't forget that. Uh, but I do have to say, to the people that say we're not even going to make the playoffs, I mean, you're absolutely just, uh, I don't know. I just feel like that's kind of a weird take, just because this team literally made the playoffs last year as a fifth seed, and uh, we had a lot of injuries last year. CJ McCollum was injured for a majority of the year. Or not majority, but a huge part of the year. Nurkic was injured for a while there. I mean, I just don't understand. Like, Damian Lillard doesn't strike me as a guy that would request a trade midseason. That's just my opinion. I just... If he wanted out of here, you would have requested a trade already. So, I think he's going to run it back with his team and see how it goes. And this team should make the playoffs again. Like, there's no reason why this team shouldn't be a postseason team unless if Andrew just strike us badly than they ever have. But we've literally made the playoffs the last... Nine years with Terry Stotts as a head coach. You know what Terry Stotts has been doing this whole time? Not really caring about the defense. The only time we had a decent defense is when David Vanderpool was here, which was like a few years ago now. And uh, it just doesn't make sense what people are saying we're not even going to make the playoffs. In my opinion, that's just my respectful opinion. I just don't understand that take. And uh, I think this team will easily be a postseason team again who knows maybe my uh, opinion doesn't age well and then you can laugh at me or whatever it may be but this is the rotation we're going to run this season and i i said that the upgrades like we didn't make you know obviously we didn't make the significant upgrades that everybody wanted us to i wanted to trade Caesar mccollum as well but if there wasn't a trade out there that would make us better if we couldn't trade cj for a simmons or a siakam then we shouldn't have done it it's just the reality we shouldn't have done it we had to keep CJ then because that's going to be our best option we can't trade CJ for a bag of chips and then expect to be a better team we can't do that we have to try to get our team better because we have a lot of pressure on us right now as you guys know Damian Lillard you know obviously frustrated but I will say some of you guys don't understand how much of a Larry Nance Cody Zeller upgrade is from Mello and Cantor literally Mello and Cantor would be on the floor together Terry Stotts would always run these two together on the floor and they were like a minus 30, like almost every time in the Denver Nuggets series. Like it was bad. The defense from those two are just not compared to what Larry Nance and Cody Zeller. I'm not saying Cody Zeller is an amazing defender by any means, but he's definitely better than Cantor. And then Larry Nance, of course, as we know, is a good defender, uh, good help defender. So he should help that out a lot. Melo, not much of a defender anymore. So I think that's a huge upgrade. And Chauncey Billups has already been saying, you know, ball movement, defense, accountability. Phyllis has been saying all the right things. So I'm very optimistic this, this year that this team will do at least make the playoffs. But some of you guys are saying we won't even make it. So I wanted to explain myself a little bit and why I thought this team would surprise people this year. And uh, some of you just agree, and that's fine. And some of you guys are preying on our downfall. I don't know. I mean, it, it makes me sad. But other than that, we are going to go ahead and some of this first season now that I've gone on my little tangent. Uh, you, you know, we can comment back and forth down below. Again, I was commenting. I was responding to people. A lot of people were hating. A lot of people were praying on our downfall. But other than that, let me just stop talking. Let me get into this rebuild and let's simulate to the regular season. I actually might make a trade the deadline. And no, it's not going to be Damian Lord trade today. We're going to keep Dame. We're going to make him happy today. That's the goal. So let's go ahead and uh, see what we do in this first season. And like I said, I am going to try to pull off a trade here, which I still think is possible in real life that we make a huge trade of the trade deadline because we've been pretty active team at the trade deadline. And I think Neil Shea has said in the past that making trades at, you know, in the midseason deadline is a lot easier than trying to, you know, convince someone in the offseason. So, uh, real quick, if he threw CJ McCollum out there, I do love CJ and all, but, you know, sometimes I think raising our ceiling is definitely a little more helpful if we were able to get somebody who can play a bigger position as our second scoring option or whatever it may be. We can get Jaden Springer, who looks like Alonzo Trier and Tobias Harris. I'm not going to do that, though. Kevin Love, no thanks. That does not help us at all. I uh, just am not going to 
Evan Love on our team does not help, I don't think. So I'm good on that. Uh, Malcolm Brogdon, uh, Jeremy Grant. I've seen that out there. So Jeremy Grant would be cool. Uh, but of course, the two guys I've kind of have at the top of my head are like guys like Simmons and uh, Pascal Siakam. So if I can find a way to snag either one of those guys, that's what I'm going to do. So uh, I guess I've gotten Simmons and uh, Trailblazers rebuilds before. So if I can try to get Siakam instead, because I feel like that'd be a lot of fun. Uh, so if we... You know, offer that straight up. Obviously, they're not gonna accept. They want my 2023 and 2025. We get Utah with Tanabe. Okay. We trade two first, essentially to get Pascal Siakam. Um, I mean, we're trying to make this team better. We're trying to become contenders. Siakam this year is averaging 19 points per game, and he's gonna play a bigger position. And I think that makes our uh, you know, obviously our uh rotation a lot more balanced. So you know what? We're gonna go ahead and pull that trade off, and now we'll have um norman powell playing the shooting guard because that's where his natural position would be which is what we've all wanted to see and then a small forward we're going to have robert covington playing the small forward although he's probably better at the power forward position i think it's fine so we'll have damian lord norman powell robert covington siakam nurkic so that's a lot better of a defensive starting five it really is that helps out tremendously larry nance off the bench cody zeller nasir little and anthony simon still every simon's become a great elite three-point shooter off-ball three-point shooter as well which i love and hopefully he can become a decent defender as well uh but yeah um with siakam coming in that makes this a lot better of a defensive lineup and uh it's a little bit more balanced so uh as much as i do love cj mccollum we had to make that trade we had to make this team better and uh i'm kind of excited to see what's going to happen this uh you know to end off this year so lowers got tendencies high siakam let's get it up there and then uh, norman powell is literally low so uh now that cj is gone obviously we want norman powell to take some shots so Definitely boost that up quite a bit. All right, well, let's go ahead and celebrate the rest of the regular season. Now that we made that Siakam trade, and uh, let's see what's going to happen. Only get the seventh seed in the West, which is something I don't think is going to be a thing. I think we'll be better than the seventh seed. We were the fifth seed last year, and uh, with the Clippers being her, and then, uh, with, you know, the question mark on the Golden State Warriors with Klay Thompson coming back. I think we'll be better than a seventh seed, but uh, Damon Lillard does make the all a first team, which is cool to see. All defense first team, all defense second team, and yeah, so we got the seventh seed in the uh, first round of going up against the Pelicans. Look at the player stats, 31. We have 21, 16 from Norm Powell, 13 and a half from Nurkic, 11 from Cody Zeller, 9 from Robert Covington, 7.8 from Larry Nance, and uh, uh, we had 7 from Anthony Simons. Okay, so we are going to play the New Orleans Pelicans now. Uh, yeah, we're probably going to lose this series because you guys know the Pelicans are OP in this uh, playoff series, or in these, uh, you know, in the NBA uh, 2K. God damn, I can't talk. Okay, so somebody come around against New Orleans, and we are going to... All right, it's going to go to a game six. Can we find a way to scratch and claw our way to force a game seven? Bring this back to New Orleans. It is in front of our hometown fans. And uh, like I said, man, the Pelicans are just OP in this game. No surprise there. They absolutely demolish us. Go ahead and troll. Blazers got limited in the first round, right? Well, I mean, it gets New Orleans. I'm not too upset because New Orleans is OP in this game. Will not be in the West Carnes Finals next year. I, I wouldn't imagine. But hey, who knows? Every you know, Sometimes things surprise you. So let's go to the draft lottery now. And uh, for the draft lottery, we don't have a draft pick, obviously. Uh, the 20th pick in the draft, it's actually, our 2022 pick is actually lottery protected now. So this is actually going to go to um, the, what is it, the Bulls, the Bulls. I was thinking whether it was the Cavaliers or the Bulls, it's going to go to the Chicago Bulls. I'll go ahead and give that to them. So they have the 20th pick. And then Chauncey Billups, uh, we'll keep that all the same. The only thing I will do is get a better trainer because that's important. Let's go to the draft now. And, uh, well, let's see what we can do on draft night. So... Uh, we still have some guys we can trade away. Still have some salaries that can help us out. Greg Brown, EJ Ellaby. We have Nurkic, Covington, who are two guys I do love. Nurkic average 13 and one and a half blocks per game. Um, I do like Nurkic, but, you know, maybe an upgrade could be in order. Robert Covington, as much as I love him as well, he absolutely... Actually, he shot 41% from three. So, usually he sucks in this game, uh, but he actually didn't do too bad. So, maybe we should just keep him around because uh, definitely... Uh, like him a lot on this game or i usually don't like him on this game but he didn't have too bad of a year so we'll see uh i guess the only thing i would like to do maybe is uh if i could go to the indiana pacers and try to snag miles turner from them i would definitely try um to do that let's see if they would accept i don't know if i have to throw more money in this uh we'd require okay we could actually make that happen so if i threw cj lb who uh i don't like in real life anyway for you know Nurkic, cj lb for miles turner they don't agree i'll give you a couple seconds because i don't have a bunch of first okay and i guess i could throw you know what i'm uh okay i guess we can't okay well what if we threw what else can we throw in here greg brown is somebody i don't really want to throw in there all that much uh covington is somebody i don't want to throw oh my man. okay um i guess i could trade this 2022 pick maybe 
Do I want to? No. Okay, they agree. Oh, well. I mean, we, we needed a defensive center upgrade. Uh, Miles Turner is definitely Miles better than Nurkic defensively. Well, maybe not Miles better, but he's definitely better. So, uh, Miles, get it. His first name is Miles. But, hey, I like that. So, now, uh, Damon Lillard, Norman Powell backcourt. Then we have Covington. And then we have Miles Turner and Siakam. Okay. Well, that's fun. Let's go uh, past. We traded a lot of draft picks in this video already. So, Anthony Simons, Nasir Little, Utah Watanabe will accept. Qualifying offers, none. And then for free agency, um, do we have any crazy free agents to worry about? Uh, Zeller's a free agent, which I wouldn't mind bringing him back. Um, not like I said, uh, definitely okay of a backup center to have. Whiteside is someone I definitely don't want back in his cancer. Somebody I definitely don't want back in Portland. So, um, I mean, paying Zeller this much money would actually kind of be helpful down the line, maybe to maybe trade him away for something else. So yeah, we'll go ahead and give Cody Zeller like a one-year deal, and then we should still have enough money. Yeah, we do. So, but so we should still have enough money to send someone else as well. So Powell, uh, we have Covington this year, Little, uh, Siak, Nance, and then Zeller and Miles Turner. So I guess. Um, I could trade for a, or I could sign a wing player like Austin Rivers actually sounds kind of cool. I uh, can't base more. And then honestly, kind of thinking about a big trade here as well. Like another big trade. I just don't know where it would come from. Uh, but if we kind of looked around the league real quick, because we have the ability to make salaries work and match, mix and match together. So I don't know who it would be, but maybe an upgrade in the backcourt could be interesting. I don't know how plausible that is or who that would be though. I'm just kind of thinking out loud and kind of seeing if there is even a possibility of that. So I'm going to take a look real quick and see if I can find a way to make this team better again. The Bucks have agreed to my trade offer. And oh my goodness. Okay, so I made this happen. We got Drew Holiday for three second round picks. Robert Covington to Norman Powell. I know I just kind of gutted a little bit of the starting five. But Damian Lillard, Drew Holiday backcourt. I mean, defensively, that's a, that's like legendary, right? Small forward right now is a little bit of a downgrade, I know. But hey, we do have, a, you know, the ability to... I do like Nasir Little as well, who could maybe make a jump this year. But Drew Holiday, Damian Lord, I love that right now, man. I absolutely love that. So, I guess the only thing I really need to do is find a way to make the small four position a little bit better. It's signed Tony Snell. you just fine there. Now, uh, let's go ahead and see if I can make the small four position better. If not, we'll just roll with Nasir Little. I'm to find anything to get a better small four. So, we're just going to essentially roll with Nasir Little at the starting small four spot, who will be just fine, I guess. And we honestly have a lot better of a defensive lineup in the rotation as well. So I feel pretty comfortable with what we did today. Usually I don't go and trade Norman Powell and Covington and stuff like that. I usually kind of keep those guys. Uh, but I thought it was fun to, you know, be a little different today and make some things happen. And we, uh, through all of that, we have kept Larry Nance on the team as well uh, since he is the title of the video. So Miles Turner will throw some untapped potential at. We'll throw some untapped potential at this year little. And we'll probably throw this last one at uh, Drew Holiday, honestly. Because I just, you know, why not? So we'll have Damian Lerner and Drew Holiday as the backcourt. They're still a little at the starting small forward. Pascal Siakam, Miles Turner, uh, Anthony Simons, Austin Rivers, Larry Nance, and Cody Zeller. I mean, defensively, this team is a lot better around Damian Lord, which is what I wanted. So, defense, three and a half fit. Obviously, Damian Lord is not you know, a good fit in the defensive system. But, hey, awesome stuff. I love what we've done so far. This team looks like it's going to be good. Shot tendencies, are, as far as those are concerned, I do want to see Drew Holiday take some shots as well, just because uh, I think Drew Holiday is better than, uh, or he's a very underrated player, as we all know. Um, other than that, man, we're going to go ahead and simulate to the end of this second season with all these changes made. We're going to hope 2K loves us. We'll see what happens, though. So this year we get the first seed, and this is kind of what I meant by my post yesterday. I said that we would surprise some people because I thought we could maybe have the ceiling of to do what the Utah Jazz, Jazz, what did I just, Utah Jazz did that one year where they uh, surprised everybody and got the number one seed. Now, did that mean they were going to win a championship? No. But I think that's what Portland could do. A coaching change is huge. Remember, guys, Atlanta, when they fired Lloyd Pierce, got Nate McMillan, they became a lot better of a team. Knicks, Tom Thibodeau, no one thought the Knicks would make the playoffs last year. I think our ceiling for Portland is to do what the Jazz did that one year, and uh, you know the floor is probably to keep doing what we've been doing and just making the playoffs and you know whatever happens, happens. So um, I just don't see a possibility where we miss the postseason. I mean, we'll at least... At the very least, we have the plan tournament if all hope is lost. If, like, the very least, there's no way we're not going to be in. I just, I don't know. Man. That's just my opinion anyway. But all NBA second team, all NBA first team, all NBA third team. So, uh, no Damian Lord, but, I mean, he had a lot more help this time. Simmons, Paul George. I did see Drew Holiday make an all-defensive second team, though. So, that's awesome. Um, honestly, I wanted the Blazers to trade for Drew Holiday when he was on New Orleans. Just because I thought that was been, like, a nice tandem. Uh, so, we had 25 from Siakam. Okay. So, 25. Uh, 22 from Drew Holiday and 22 from Damian Lord, 14 from Miles Turner, 11 from Anthony, 8 from Nasir Little, 
8 from Cody Zeller, 7.8 from Rivers, and 5.5 from uh, Larry Nance. And hey, Tower Johnson even contributed a little bit. So, we are playing the Minnesota Timberwolves, Russell, Malik Beasley, Edwards, McDaniels, Carly Towns, Nas Reed, Bogey, Beverly, Devin Askew, Joe Noel, and Torian Prince. So, obviously, pretty solid eighth seeded team. Hopefully, 2K doesn't curse me here and we lose in the first round against the eighth seed. That would just be... Uh, okay, that's good. All right, that's actually a really good start. We absolutely swept them, so that's good. And now we get to play San Antonio. So, Spurs are back in the playoffs. So, we have DeJounte. Lonnie Walker. Actually, DeJounte Murray would have been nice as well to have. But Lonnie Walker, Devin Vassell, Zach Collins, man. Zach Collins and San Antonio. I was actually kind of surprised that San Antonio gave uh, a big of a contract they did. But at the same time, I think there's a lot of, like, non-guarantees in the deal. So, I mean, it's not that big of a deal. So, if he's, like, not healthy, I don't think his money is all that guaranteed. But uh, we'll see. Somebody come around against San Antonio. And, okay, it's an even series. So, we're going to actually shrink the rotation just because... We want to try to win this series, obviously, so uh, we're going to go to a Game 5 in Portland, and hopefully uh, we can shut them out here and uh, win Game 5, and it's not looking good thus far, and 2K, thank you. Okay, 118 and 112, we lose. All right, Game 6, this is important, because if we can't win this Game 6, that's not a good look. Come on, Portland, stand up, baby. Come on, dude, no. Why are we losing to the Spurs, bro? This team isn't even that good. No freaking way we're going to lose San Antonio, man. Come on. What is happening? 2K hates me, bro. This is the reality of the situation. 2K is preying on the Blazers' downfall as well, man. Why are we losing to the Spurs team? I don't understand. Like, that Timberwolves team was so much better, and we lost to the Spurs team. Whatever. Well, um, let's see what happens. Rockets win the championship. Okay, well, um, we can run it back one more time. I just don't understand why we lost that Spurs team. That Minnesota team was so much better, and we absolutely blew them out of the water, and then... Struggle against San... An I just don't get it. Well, all right. Staff signing. We're going to keep that the same. All right. Let's go to the draft now. On draft night, we don't even have a pick, so I'm not even too worried about it. Player options will accept these. Uh, qualifying offers. Anthony Simons, you know, pretty important free agent, so we'll definitely wait around for him. Zeller is a free agent again. Uh, Larry Nance is somebody I definitely want back, so we'll go ahead and sign him. Uh, Zeller is a free agent again. Like I mentioned, Utah, I'm not too worried about, so... Uh, Zeller, I mean, is there a better center I could sign? Because if there is, I'll just go that route. Um, Alex Lynn, Chris, you know, I guess I'll just sign Zeller and whatever. So we'll have Zeller and Larry Nance back. I'll sign those two guys. And then Anthony Simons, I'll probably give uh, a big deal to um, our six man or uh, to stay our bench, our good bench player. All right, we'll have that. Uh, we'll still have this. I mean, I guess the only thing I really could do is maybe make an upgrade at the small forward spot. If we really wanted to, although I do like this here a little. Um, he averaged eight points at 41%. So, I mean, it's not that bad. And he probably played good defense. He was, uh, you know, three plus minus on the floor. I don't know. I mean, like, uh, as far as an upgrade to small forward, I mean, I could, you know, go for uh, somebody I have at the top of my head and maybe like an OG on an OB. Um, If the Raptors were willing to give me OG, that would be fun. So, we could do that. They, we offered, obviously, Zeller, who we just signed. And then we have to, you know, offer six more million in this trade. So it would be like uh, this here little. Then I really want to give the Greg Brown, not really, but all this for OG Nobi. Cody Zeller has a no trade clause. No, he does not. Get the hell out of here. Why does he have a no trade clause? I would have never gave that to him. Excuse me, Zeller. I don't understand why 2K automatically gives no trade clauses to these guys. I definitely didn't give that to him. So. Let me fix that real quick, and let me, you know, continue to negotiate with uh, Toronto real quick. Now that Cody Zeller's no trade clause is gone, Toronto does agree to my offer. As much as I hated trading this year a little there, uh, we get an upgrade at the small forward spot, and now we just need, like, a backup small forward or a backup center, and we're ready for this next season. So, uh, small forwards, we have Wesley Wundu, uh, who looks like he's a nice 3 and D player, so we'll sign him, and then, boom. Just kidding. Charlotte matches my offer sheet. Okay. Um, Terrence Ross, I see. Tory Craig, Daniel House. I mean, any of these guys would be fine. Uh, so we'll sign like David Nwamba or something. I don't know. Sign him and then boom, Utah might come back as well. So he'll be a nice backup small forward. So call us to Toronto Blazers or something. I don't know. Well, uh, this is our new look team. So we are going to go ahead, run it back one more time with OG Nobi joining us. And hopefully this time we don't get eliminated in the second round by a team we shouldn't lose to. At the end of the season, we didn't have that much successful of a regular season like we did last year. Uh, we only went 45 and 37 and are the fifth seed in the playoffs. And hey, now we get to play the Houston Rockets, who, um, well, Houston uh, won the championship last year. So definitely a little nervous here. Kevin Porter Jr., Jalen Green, Rice, Christian Wood. 
I mean, Kim Walker off the bench. I think I definitely have to play my, my best eight players throughout this postseason. I mean, I think that's just kind of the reality of the situation. So hopefully uh, things can go out pretty well for us. Not really sure what to expect. Winning current round against Houston. And let's see what happens as we are going to. Well, that's uh, kind of how my life is, I guess. Well, you know what? Dame, I guess I'll see you later, man. I'll see you later, bro. It's been nice knowing you. See you guys later. This Crashables, I'm saying peace.